Map bans have always been a divisive topic amongst the community ever since its inception all the way back in 2020. With the recent release of Operation Brutal Storm, we got a new map ban system added to the game. Before this change, at the start of every match, each team would have the option between three maps to ban. With Brutal Swarm, this was changed to five maps. The main reason for this change is a lot of people were tired of newer content getting banned every single match. A great example of this is Emerald Plains, one of the newest maps added to Ranked, which is widely considered to be a bad map and is banned almost every match. This sentiment is pretty much shared by every content creator across YouTube and Twitch. However, after this season, I've noticed the toxicity around map bans has significantly increased. Whether that be teammates talking bad about you banning the wrong map in game chat, or the enemy team complaining about the fact that Skyscraper went through, there is constantly someone complaining in the match. And I do think this new system is going to spread toxicity to an even worse degree than the previous system. Another side effect of a system like this is people will get more mad with the game causing them to get off the game quicker. I'll be honest, over my time playing the game, I've never seen the community this toxic. It's gotten to the point where I've turned off text chat and half of my matches I have to mute someone in game chat. I think the only way we can solve this issue in the community is if we make some changes to the map system and how ranked works. Because if we keep the system the way it is, I can see a lot more people quitting the game over this. I think Siege is experiencing a similar problem that Halo Infinite has been experiencing over its life cycle. I know this is a weird comparison to make, but trust me, it will make sense in a second. Halo Infinite's only progression is in the form of the Battle Pass, and the only way to earn XP towards that Battle Pass is to complete challenges. These challenges want you to play specific modes, some of them being free-for-all modes, which meant in certain circumstances to progress through the game, you'd have to leave your friends to go play like free-for-all Slayer, so that way your Battle Pass could actually gain XP. Needless to say, this system was awful and resulted in a lot of people just straight up quitting the game. Now I know what you're thinking, how does this have anything to do with map bans and Siege? What the two games have in common is they both force players to play in a way they don't want to, and in a competitive environment that is as big as Siege, I think it only exacerbates the issue. When people are in a competitive environment, they don't want to play Outback, Border, or Favela, and I think they should be able to opt out of playing these maps. At the same time, I think the people who complain about the map ban system making the map pool more stale should also be able to play what they want. I've gone back and forth on what I would recommend the new system to be, however I've narrowed it down to two of my ideas. The first one is removing map bans altogether, but limiting the ranked pool to whatever Pro League's map pool is at the time. So that way, new maps will go through a quarantine phase and also we can guarantee any maps in the map pool are at least decent. While on the flip side, still having a decent pool of maps to choose from and eliminating the frustration map bans cause. My second solution is to replace map banning with a map picking system, where both teams get access to a selection of five maps randomly chosen out of the ranked pool. Each team can vote on one map to play. If the teams pick the same map, you will play that map. However, if both teams choose a different map, it will randomize between the two. It would end up functioning very similar to the current map ban system. However, the big difference is instead of banning maps, you'd be choosing maps. This gives the people who are tired of playing the same couple of maps over and over and over again to vote in maps that they want to play, like maybe Skyscraper that always gets banned. It's still only a 50-50 shot where they, whether they'd end up on Skyscraper, but it's still a better chance than it was before. This would hopefully make both sides happy. It would make people who enjoy map bans feel like they still have a choice in what maps they play, and it allows people to play the maps they want. Worst case scenario, you have a 50% chance of getting a map you don't like. The only issue I see with this system is if a team decides to choose a map like Skyscraper or some other map that is widely hated, the opposing team will become extremely toxic, more so than before, since they will now know that the enemy team is the sole reason that they are playing that map. I still think this system would be better than the current one. I feel like both sides would win in this scenario because you would be less likely to play a map you hated. And if you vote in a map that a lot of people dislike, there's still a 50% chance of you playing that map. So it still gives you the opportunity if you're playing with your friends or whatever to vote in a map that's rarely played like Skyscraper or Favela and there's still a chance of it going through. Right now, I'm definitely leaning more towards changing the map ban system to a map picking system because right now, like I said before, the toxicity is going through the roof. Ubisoft needs to do something about this in my opinion because it's almost every match. There's someone in text chat or game chat upset with the game. And while a lot of people will just say, just learn the maps, bro. I don't think that's the solution to the issue because if you tell people to just learn the maps 
and you force people into a situation where they're playing maps they don't like, it's just going to make people quit the game. It's not something that you can reliably do because it will eventually cause the game to drain players. If players are playing something that they don't want to play, over time, they'll just start quitting. So for the health of the game, I pray that Ubisoft does try to do something to rework this system better than what they just recently did. Because this map band system, I'll be honest, is awful. I'll be honest, there's been a lot of games that I've played where both teams didn't want to play the map we ended up on. Like for example, I've gotten Skyscraper once before and everyone in the match did not want to play Skyscraper, but they just thought that the other team was going to ban that map. This forms a lot of situations where people are just not going to be enjoying what they're playing. And in my opinion, the solution to that isn't to just tell people that they're overreacting or that they should learn the maps because all that's going to do is foster even more hate in the community. Anyways, let me know how you guys feel about the current state of the map ban system because I know that this is a very hot topic in the community. So let me know if you were to rework the map ban system, how would you do it? Do you have a better idea than what I've came up with? Because I do want to hear your guys' ideas. I'm always open to new ideas to change the system. Or if you're happy with the current system, explain to me why because I, I do like to hear you guys' opinion on these kind of topics. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would mean the world to me if you go down below and hit that sub button. Currently, there is less than 1% of you that are sub to my channel. So your sub alone would help me put a dent in that number. I'm trying to get to 10% by the start of next year. So it would mean the world to me. And if you don't think I've earned your sub just yet, you can go and check out this video and hopefully it will change your mind. Anyways, have a wonderful day, friends. And I'll see you next time. Peace.